Not Sleepy by Jane Chapman. At bedtime, Grandma always carried Mo up to the top of the tree. It's a long way up for a little owlet, she puffed. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Grandma smoothed the soft leaves into a cozy nest and sat Mo carefully in the middle. Play with me, giggled Mo. No, sweetie, it's time for bed, smiled Grandma, and she blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. The stars were fading when Grandma heard a rustle. Is that you, Mo? Yes, I haven't had my bedtime snack. The bedtime snack, how could I forget, thought Grandma. So she took one hop, jump, flutter, flump to the top of the tree. Grandma sat and waited for Mo to finish his bedtime snack. Plea with me, Mo snuffled between mouthfuls. No, honey bun, time to go to sleep, said Grandma. And she blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. The last bats were going home when leaves began to rain down from above. Mo, Grandma called, is everything all right? No, and I'm not tucked in. He's not tucked in, sighed Grandma. Up we go. Hop, jump, flutter, flump, right to the top of the tree. Grandma plumped and prodded and tucked and rolled until Mo looked like a wriggly green pancake. Play with me, he laughed. No pickle, it's bedtime, said Grandma. No more noise now, unless there's an emergency. And she blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. Grandma sat in the stillness. All was quiet at last. She was just about to start reading when, Grandma, Grandma, it's an emergency. It's an emergency, thought Grandma. Oh my goodness. What is it? What's the emergency? Puffed Grandma. I'm not sleepy, said Mo. I don't want to go to bed. I want to play. Grandma squeezed into Mo's cozy nest next to him. The thing is, Mo, it's bedtime. And at bedtime, someone has to go to bed, she said. So I have a very good idea. I'll go to bed and you can stay up. Yes, 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 laughed Mo. And you'll need fresh leaves and a bedtime snack and tucking in. And every time I come up, I'll blow you a kiss. Mo was very busy. He didn't have time to play. It was hard work putting Grandma to bed. Hop, jump, flutter, flump, hop, jump, flutter, flump, hop, jump, flutter, flump. Most of the stars were gone when a little voice called from up from below. Grandma, I'm really sleepy. Well, of course you are, Poppet. It's very late, said Grandma. And she hopped down the tree to her favorite owlet. On my back, she said. Hop, Grandma carried Mo. Jump all the way up, flutter to his nest lump at the top of the trees. Grandma snuggled Mo down and folded soft leaves over him. Time for bed, she smiled. Then Grandma soothed, smoothed Mo's feathers gently, blew him a kiss, and hopped back down the tree to her book. How Do Owls See by Edna Manning There's a faint rustle in the dead leaves on the forest floor. A tiny mouse peers around in the dim starlight, listening carefully. Without a sound, an owl swoops down from the night sky. In a swirl of leaves, the mouse becomes the owl's midnight snack. Although some owls hunt during the day, most prefer to hunt at night. Nocturnal animals, like owls, foxes, deer, and cats, have huge eyeballs that help to gather as much light as possible. The eye of the snowy owl is as big as a human's, but they have much smaller heads. If our eyes were that big, they'd be the size of oranges. Owls have binocular vision, meaning that the view they see with each eye overlaps. 
This kind of vision helps the owl figure out the distance from its perch on the tree to the mouse below. Try closing one eye, then reach for an object an arm's length away. It's hard to know exactly how far to reach, isn't it? Owls can shift focus from close up to far away very quickly. They can zoom in on a mouse 200 yards away. An owl can't move its eyes in its sockets. It can only look straight ahead, but an owl has a very long and flexible neck. It can turn its head so far back it can see what's going on behind it. So here we have a caption, and this says, Owls have a hard time seeing things up close. Whiskers around their beaks make it easier for them to feel what's near. Do owls have eyes in the back of their heads? Nope. They can turn their heads almost all the way around. Eye shine happens when light shines on an owl's eyes at night. A camera flash, headlights on a car, or a flashlight would do the trick. Most owls have yellow eyes, but some have dark black, brown, or reddish orange eyes. Some scientists think that eye color determines the time of day owls hunt, but nobody knows for sure. In fact, an owl can move its head a full 270 degrees without moving its body. An owl's eyes are good at making use of very little light. Some, like the tawny owl, can see in light a hundred times less bright than we can. The opening in the eye that lets in light is called a pupil. At night, the owl's pupils open wide to let in as much light as possible. The light hits a big light detector at the back of the eye called the retina. The retina is made up of tiny cells called rods and cones that sense different kinds of light. Cones see bright light and colors. Rod cells can see in dim light and at night, but they don't see color. For example, try finding a blue t-shirt in a dark closet in a dark room. Pretty tough to do, isn't it? Nocturnal animals have more rods than cones, so they see well at night, but with less color. Sometimes, owl eyes seem to glow at night because the rods and cones don't catch all the light. This is called eye shine. It happens because of a mirror-like layer behind the retina called the tapetum. Some light entering the eye passes through the retina without being absorbed by the cells. The tapetum reflects the light back into the eyes, giving the cells of the retina a second chance to absorb it. Even a small amount of light shining into the eyes will make them glow. Whales, deer, cats, sharks, crocodiles, fruit-eating bats, and some snakes also have this eye shine. Some people think owls can't see well during the day, but that isn't true. Owls' eyes adjust to the amount of light entering them, just like yours. Their pupils open wide at night and close up tight during the day. They have three eyelids, one for blinking, one for sleeping, and one for keeping the eye safe. All of these layers protect the sensitive eye cells from bright sunlight. Many animals, including owls, combine their ability to see at night with their other keen senses to hunt and to avoid being hunted. And although owls must be proud of their hunting abilities, the mice probably don't appreciate those skills very much. So this is a barn owl. This is a barred owl here and below, and this is the type of owl that we have seen and heard in our trees up here in northern Michigan. And if you watch the intro video, you'll see um, the video I took of their uh, sound in the woods. And then if you look over here, there's a really cool little craft that you can do to make your own pet snowy owl just using a rock and some paint. One of the ingredients is googly eyes, but if you don't have those, you can just paint them on as well.